Hello crafters and welcome to this week's From Picture to Page with me on Paper Craft Show Update. Now I'm Michelle Brown, Creative Director of From Picture to Page, which nurtures your creativity with in-person and online events. And I am so excited to be back for this week's update because it's been a few weeks since I've been here and it will be a few more weeks until I'm back. Details soon. So today we've got a dash of inspiration. We're going to just cover over the dish dash, the train and hobby show, Bendigo, Pakenham and the upcoming Wurley show. So there is lots to cover. Before I jump in, whether you're watching us here live or watching a replay, make sure you pop in the comments, just like Lisa has. Let us know that you're there, ask us any questions and continue to share us with our crafting community because you are all so much a part of it. So firstly, my dash of inspiration, I'd really like to encourage you to think about how you can think across hobbies and crafts. It was amazing at the train and hobby show how we had so much cross-pollination across different um, interests and different crafts and different things. You know, there was miniatures and woodworking and tapestry and the fo uh, folk art and all sorts of different things. And it was just amazing how you could get inspiration from it. And including the model makers and the train people as well, they were doing... Um, all sorts of amazing things, scaling things down, creating things from scratch. It was just really inspirational. So I'd like to encourage you to perhaps grab something from some of your other hobbies or see what's around and see how that fits in to create um, some more enthusiasm in your current hobby. Now the D-Stash show, our next one will be on Saturday the 3rd of June. So you've got a couple of months to get yourself organised. Now applications of that will open on the 1st of May. So applications for our June D-Stash will open the 1st of May. And of course all the details and the application will be available on our website from picture to page and beyond.com.au. Just click on the little D-Stash logo and all of the information is there because it's always all in one place. And again, a huge thank you to all those that come and supported the Makers Arts and Crafts Hall at the Train and Hobby Show. That was held back on the long weekend sand down. It seems like a long time ago now. And we had a fantastic weekend. We had a great range of crafters, lots of exhibitors that you'd recognise, plus a few new ones. And it was really nice to be part of something bigger. We definitely had some crafters that came to see us, but there were so many wives and daughters and kids of train enthusiasts that were really excited to see an arts and crafts component as well. And then a whole heap that definitely said they'd be bringing their partners and kids along next year so we are certainly looking at how we will fit it in to the schedule for from picture to page paper craft shows for 2024 and Bendigo show was just a couple of weeks ago and again thank you all for those that came to support us for all the exhibitors there was so many classes a lot of crafters came back on the second day because you just couldn't get everything done in on the day there were some fantastic new products there was classes there was make and takes we had a fantastic caterer so a huge thank you to Sahara and her team for the wonderful pies and wraps and cakes and oh my goodness it was just absolutely amazing to have someone who really knows their stuff there and supporting us for the weekend so a huge thank you to Sahara and all of the exhibitors at the Bendigo show and of course all the crafters as well. Now the Pakenham show is well and truly in our sights it's only seven weeks away so make sure your diaries and calendars are marked for the 20th and 21st of May we're heading back to the Cadinia Cultural Centre and it is going to be completely full. All the retailers except one or two have been finalised and we're just starting to get information about what they might be doing for classes and make and takes. So as always for all the details head over to our website from picture to page and beyond.com.au where you can see exactly who's going to be there when we announce it in a few weeks time plus who's doing classes and who's doing demonstrations. It really is the best place to get all the information. And of course, while you're there, make sure you sign up to our email list because we do send out our updates to our email list before we even announce it here on Facebook. So it is the best place to make sure that you know exactly what's going on. You get your discount coupon sent straight to your inbox. You get your to-do list so you know what's going on as well. Hello, Carolyn. Hello, Chris. Hi, Julie. It's so lovely to see you all there with us today. It really is lovely to have our crafting friends with us online in spirit. So the Packenham Show is not far away, like I said, and the um, exhibitors, the retailers will be announced really soon. And then even further off in our sites, but still definitely front of mind is our Western or our Werribee show. Now that's the 22nd and 23rd of July and some details for the retailers will be out very soon. Details for the retailers, you know what I mean, will be out soon as well. So make sure you check your inboxes. Now I guess the big news for today is that we really are reviewing our calendar for 2024. There has been so much shoved into the calendar this year that we really do need to have a rethink and figure out what makes sense, how do we fit it all together. So there is a survey out to all the retailers to see what shows they want to do next year, what makes sense for everyone and how we can best 
fit it together. So if you're a retailer and haven't filled out your survey yet, please make sure you do, or else there might only be eight or so of us that actually make the decisions for all 170 odd of you that are on our email list there. So it really is a chance to let us know what you think, how we put it together, and then get that calendar plan so we can get all the crafters locked in for 2024 as soon as possible. Because we've got road trips to plan, all sorts of things going on. So there is a survey out for the show's 2024, and of course we will announce it all to you guys at our email list as soon as that is finalised. So Papercraft Posse, a welcome to all the new members that we've gathered over the last few weeks. It's lovely having you there. Now so much is being shared that I'm not going to try and summarise it here. We've had cards, we've had chipboard, we've had retailers, of course I've done some art journaling, there's been lots there. So head over to our Papercraft Posse group on Facebook and share something, say hello. I know Lisa was asking about what we'd bought at different um, shows because sometimes it is hard to cover it all by ourselves. So the Papercraft Posse is the place to be, the community where you can ask questions and share what's going on and it just makes it so much easier because it's not just me, it's thousands of other crafters there to help you out. Okay, so that's nearly it for this update. Just a little announcement that I will be taking a break over the next few weeks. Now, Jenny will be around holding the fort. So if anyone has any questions, catch up, please, and um, get in contact with Jenny directly. And of course, I'll be hanging out and popping around on Facebook because I am heading over to the big trade fair, the craft show Creativation in Ohio at the end of this week. So I'm looking forward to bringing you all the latest products, demonstrators by demonstrations by our talented favorite designers and I'm really looking forward. It's been five years since I've been across to the train and the craft, craft and hobby show, train and hobby. Oh my goodness, getting confused. The the craft and hobby show, which became Creativation a few years ago, and it really is a place to see what the manufacturers have got, watch demonstrations, and learn from all of our crafting community. So I'm looking forward to sharing that with you over the next few weeks. So I will be back on the first of May. So we're having a quite a long break, and it will be a chance to see what's going on in the states to catch up and then to come back and share all that enthusiasm with you while Jenny gets the Packnam show organized and the Western show lined up as well. So as always, like I said, if you've got anything that you want to let us know, pop it in the comments, ask any questions, and I'm so looking forward to catching up with you soon. So this is Michelle signing off. I hope you have a crafty day.